What's up everybody, Jackson here today with my little brother Chubbs. Hello everyone. And today we're going to be talking about the time the Pinkertons from the Old West sued Rockstar Games for portraying the Pinkertons in the Old West. <laughs> I'll have a link to this article below. Chubbs is just now finding out about this. I wanted to see, it's been like a day or so now, but I wanted to wait until we could had time to do a video before I told you about this. Just because it's so stupid. Okay, this is a Game Informer article I'll have it linked right below in the description. The Pinkertons and Rockstar Games are fighting over Red Dead Redemption 2. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the Pinkertons have proven to be the foe in many cultural works throughout the decades. Deadwoods, A People's History of the United States, Bioshock Infinite, and so on. Today it appears that history company, that history company, I can't believe it's still a company. <laughs> like, they're still fucking Pinkertons. They're still relevant? What the fuck? What do you do now? <laughs> you, learn, you learn something new every day. Today it appears that history company is taking on Take Two and Rockstar Games over inclusion of Pinkerton agents in Red Dead Redemption 2. Pinkerton Consulting and Investigations sent a cease and desist letter to Take Two last week and have demanded royalties, claiming Rockstar was unauthorized to feature the Pinkerton brand in the game. Wow. <laughs> Take Two is fired back, countering that the inclusion of the agency in the game falls under fair use. Rockstar cites Red Dead Redemption 2's historical setting as well as the Pinkerton agencies being featured in a plethora of cultural works throughout years as evidence. Pinkerton cannot use trademark law to own the past and prevent creators from including historical references to Pinkerton agents in depictions of the American West. <laughs> I agree. Like otherwise, Take two asserts. how can you be historically accurate? <laughs> so here's the thing, though. When I first heard this, I was like, okay, but they're not really doing the Old West. Like, they're doing their satirical version of the Old West, like how Rockstar does, you know right. what I mean? Like, it's New Haven or something like that. It's not America. Right. It's not, you know, the Old West. So, are, do you think they're trying to, like, be like, yeah, so in that sense... Well, from what I understand, though, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 also had a more serious setting, Right. And Red Dead Redemption two or one was more of like the comedic, yeah. you know. It's definitely more. It's definitely stereotypical and western, there's like a lot spaghetti of, western. I don't know. Western. I haven't played it yet. Yeah, but right. But regardless, that's what Ari and Cam have told me. Yes. Right, but from what I watched you play of Red Dead Redemption two, it felt like they tried to add more authenticity. Authenticity. Oh and, yeah, for you sure. Know, make it as well, it definitely mirrors. It definitely, well, yeah, and it definitely mirrors like real events, like right. all the stuff with the and Native does, Americans, all it, that shit was for real. Right, and even though it is a fictional setting, New Haven or whatever they call it, the overall setting of it is placed in the American West when it was yeah, starting like, to go from, kind of like, from, but it was during the, the time. one zone's more like St. Louis. But I know what you're saying. It's right. set in a, it's, it's definitely mimicking the historical setting of that time frame. Exactly. You so, know. but here's the thing: is like I agree with Take Two. Like I don't think like I'm not taking the side of them. Right. I think this is but beyond you're clownish. Just, you're just saying that because technically they might have a case. Yeah. And if maybe. that's true, <laughs> then this is know. a fucked up like this is this is a weird. I just dream don't see why you would ever. Like, a hero. Uh, first of all, the, my first two thoughts when I saw this was, ha, 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 And then on top of that, there was this, like, hold on, like, the Pinkertons still exist? <laughs> like, from the Old West. These motherfuckers. Like, are what do they do around. now? I know. Like, are they still guarding trains? <laughs> right? Like, stopping outlaws and fucking, are like. Are they still, like, going in to fucking, like, stop train robberies? <laughs> Are they working the A train in fucking downtown New York? Like, what's going on with the fucking Pinkertons? Are they still, like, hunting down bank robbers? They had, like, who? I don't know. <laughs> like, like, what do they do? How, what is this? They must have secured. That involved. is a fucking video. The That's is. a historical fucking, if someone wants to do 
Someone needs to do a video on that. Right, like... The fucking what the fuck the Pinkertons they... have been up to for yeah. the past couple hundred years. Because clearly they must have <laughs> evolved and changed with the yeah. law to go after different criminals. I wonder if they just ended up, like, in this situation because the people they were working for were so wealthy that, like, this company just ended up, like, diversing itself with all the money that it made off these fucking big wigs. Right. And, like, so they stretched it out and they, like, have ten drills into all sorts of things and, like, yeah. you find out they own a portion of Disney, so technically the Pinkertons are running the fucking Star Wars. <laughs> and you're like, hold on a minute. Wait. <laughs> We've gone too far down this rabbit hole. <laughs> I'm just saying, I want to see a fucking conspiracy theory. I don't even care if it's completely made up. Like, just <laughs> random nonsense that someone wrote. I want to see one on the Pinkertons and how they really own Disney. How, how they're really yeah. some evil corporation God, that is dude. not, like, evolved, but rather, like, bought their way yeah. in time. And there's, like, some former members of the Pinkertons that joined Rockstar Games, and so really it's going after those guys' money and not really even about the game. They're just like, fuck those ex-Pinkertons. We look out for each other. They left our side. Yeah. <laughs> what the fucking Pinkertons, dude? How is this a fucking reality that we live in? We're like this like you've always heard of the Pinkertons. They're like the detectives that were hired by the train companies oh, yeah. and oil tycoons and other such people. Oh, yeah. They're they're known for some nefarious shit. Like low down dirty shit. Some of them were actually outlaws that had turned to that because they did the same thing essentially, but now it was legal Yeah, and they were getting paid lots of money to do it. It's like the privateers and pirates during yeah. that fucking era. So it's like, what the fuck? The P if this would be like the new Pirates of the Caribbean movies coming out and some fucking dude whose last name's Sparrow, whose dad was a great, great pirate, fucking back in the fucking, you know, and his name had been Jack. Yeah. And his last name was Sparrow. And he's like, we're suing Disney. Exactly. Like, Hold the fuck you up. You can't use that name. It's not his, you know, whatever <laughs> the fuck. You didn't get the rights to use our yeah. trademark name. We don't no care matter about how your, historically we accurate. We don't care about your fine print fucking at the end of the credit roll that says all characters in this movie is fictitious. Yeah. And any resemblance to any people living or dead is like, it's yeah. like they have that <laughs> at the end of like Avengers and I'm just like what <laughs> who the fuck is coming out going like I'm Tony Stark bitch you can't <laughs> like, use my name yeah, like, I'm you, suing you you have like this fine print that's like obvious <laughs> as fuck like yeah this is made up <laughs> like I know Thor, the god of thunder, isn't real. There is no Asgard. There's no Odin. Yeah. Like, they still have to put that in there, though. All characters are fictitious. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was at the end of the Rockstar credits. Right. I'm pretty sure I saw that. <laughs> so. <laughs> fuck you, Pinkertons. <laughs> you should have read the fucking fine print. <laughs> This is, this is fucking lunacy this dude. is ridiculous oh my but god but that's what happens if you can sue somebody for money then do it yeah why, why, not? why not everybody's suing everybody <laughs> it's like the orange shirt kid that fucking entered the Fortnite dance contest i let me just explain myself <laughs> because i feel more i feel like i should feel more embarrassed about knowing about this shit than I do knowing the entire arc of fucking Bella, okay? Because <laughs> this is by far dumber in my opinion. But there's this Fortnite contest where the kids uploaded videos to YouTube, sent it to them, hashtag fucking look at me dance, and they were gonna put it in the game as like a, a season pass item or whatever the seasonal shit is in those games. Right. The battle pass. Like or, the dance yeah. or whatever? All right. <clears throat> and so, this kid entered, he didn't win. They called him the orange shirt kid. Okay. Orange shirt kid. 
<laughs> was his name not attached to it? Did they not give a fuck? Or was I don't know. Just like, I don't know. So his dad, this is, I'm reading about this in like PC Gamer. I'm just going to throw that out there, like about this in Game Informer. Like everyone's talking about this sort of shit. Right. So that's why I see it. But after that, he fucking, his mom's suing him now. Anyway, they included his dance. He didn't win, but they felt bad for him. The community like rallied and said, we liked this dance a lot. So they gave it away for free in the game. All this time later, after like, who is it? It's the guy from Scrubs. <laughs> the black dude from Scrubs and Clueless. Turk? Turk. <laughs> it's that guy, dude. Turk Turkleton? Turk Turkleton. <laughs> that's not his real name. That's how fucking crazy this is. The dude, Brandy's boyfriend from fucking Clueless is suing Epic Games <laughs> for his Fortnite dance. Are you from serious? Scrubs, yes. The Turk dance? Yes, from Scrubs, dude. Oh my There's god. There's a couple other people that are suing that. It's because Fortnite's making fucking cash. Oh yeah. Cash. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's the same group of lawyers that's of all of them that Orange Shirt Kids signed up with. So they're suing. <laughs> so it's like. The Three. Pinkertons were like, fuck it, Tur Turkleton's going, well, let's fucking throw down, boys! Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> All out or not, Pinkertons, like Pinkertons or die! <laughs> <laughs> the Pinkerton <laughs> detective agency. We've officially <laughs> reached inception oh levels God. of legal system. I know. Where they're just like suing within a lawsuit on top of suing. Just oh, we gotta sue, go after man. these people. Like, holy shit. <laughs> and it's obviously Red Dead Redemption 2 made a ton of money. Like, it sold a bunch of copies. Oh, yeah. For all of that, you gotta know that this is gonna be a lucrative long term fucking game for Rockstar. Just much the same way as GTA 5 has been. Right. And. And so, like, you know, it's just gonna keep collecting money, and they know that. Oh, like, yeah. These company, these that's fucking why these Pinkerton fucks, they're lawyers. That's why they did it. They're right? lawyers. Like, that's are why fucking, they did yeah, it, like, obviously. Well, this has to be posted, especially since it's like a publicly traded thing, right? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, Take Two, all that shit is, like, publicly owned. Yeah. So, like, there's expense reports that they have to deliver to the, the shareholders, and I'm pretty sure all that shit, like, if you know how to get a hold of that shit, like, you could just get that shit. Yeah. And so, like, you know these lawyers know that. These Pinkerton lawyers. Yeah. They're like, oh, good God, look at how much they made off that Grand Theft Auto Five game. And they've probably seen all the, the suits that went against that because there was a bunch. What's her fucking name suit them? The fucking dumb broad from Herbie. Oh, my God. Are fucking, you serious? Yeah. The, the, the fucking crazy chick who got famous way too young and too rich and then surrounded by a bunch of yes men who just wanted to cash their checks and let her go do all the drugs and coke and drinking and fucking in the world. And anything that she wanted. <laughs> just hair. <laughs> she hair. Sued, she sued them, dude. <laughs> Some, she sued Fortnite? Because there was, like, some picture that they had... No, not Fortnite. She sued gta 5 oh because okay. there was a picture that they included that was of like this pop star or something and like she was trying to say and it was kind of a parody of her like i don't think that they even i don't even think that where they didn't it, admit that where they didn't it doesn't have... even matter if it's a parody of her that's a fucking parody bitch that's a fair use yeah like you are not protected especially when you're that famous and you put yourself out there in the limelight that much. Oh, they yeah. can make a fucking mockery of everything you are if they don't use your name. And if the fucking character is significantly different. Yeah. And so, like, that's... I think that's what they, they said. But, like... So, like, this is... They've seen all of this. And who knows how many people sued that they were just like, fuck it, settle. Fuck yeah. it, settle. Like, it's cheaper to just settle than it is to fight. Yeah, to draw this out in court. Yeah. Because these are the types of companies that are just making tons of money. Oh, yeah. And, like, these lawyers, you think they're, like, fighting for fucking justice on behalf of Tur Turkleton's dance? <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> this is about a paycheck, dude. They see how much Epic Games is making. Yeah. They see what kind of business Fortnite is doing. Oh, yeah. They want a piece of that ass. Oh, yeah. So and, that's, like, the dances. And, oh, fuck. Let's sue them. Oh, yeah. And if you have a case, oftentimes it will be pushed through. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. those are the lawyers that will oftentimes take your case. First of all, 
Because if you don't have a case, a lawyer's not going to want to pick it up. So these lawyers are picking cases that they know have a guarantee or, you know, a pretty good shot at winning. You know what I mean? Like they have a case that they can present and with enough evidence and with enough legal jargon, they can flip it around in their favor. Oh, yeah. Well, like especially they, when you look at these <clears throat> contracts that are fucking novels. They're, oh, yeah. That people are signing and other, and not only that, but laws, like laws and bylaws and all that shit that you can oh, find. Yeah. Just like, and if it's a legal thing, it doesn't matter how ridiculous, ludicrous it is. It's it's a legal thing. Oh, yeah. We're taking it some will, of that money. It will be happening. Yeah. <laughs> so it's interesting to see if that's how this works out because... You got to think that for a lawyer at that level, like these are really like expensive fucking lawyers that, that representing all of these companies like the Pinkertons. I wonder if the Pinkertons fucking lawyers are good. Do they have yeah. a good lawyers? I don't know. <laughs> that is what's so another thing that is confusing the hell out of me because the Pinkertons, <laughs> the Pinkertons. Uh, like in this article, it says Bioshock used them. So where's your fucking like, dude? Everyone's used them who's done any sort of game. Deadwood. Yeah. Like, well, it's been like they've been. They, like, they're a major part of America. Yeah. If you're and if like, you watch an old, if America. you watch like an old western, that, like there was the one about with fucking Colin Farrell in it. There was the one with the Newton boys. The Newton boys was really fucking good. Yeah. But they're they're all over in those mentioned because they were fucking there. They were, you know, it's just like a relevant force that was out there doing fucking work for yeah. the fucking these private they, companies. And not only that, but they have made their mark in history. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, why not just be flattered that people are still using your name? God damn it. It's like, because <laughs> why do that when you can get a cut of all these royalties from yeah, fucking yeah. every single one of these but microtransactions. Still, it's true. but Every single one of these game sets. It's true. But still, like, it's 2019, right, is when this lawsuit's going down? Or did it happen last year? Because we're it's like, right like at the brand beginning. New. This is so like So this brand is 2019, new. and they've been included in so many different <laughs> works of fiction throughout the years. Either, like, their lawyers are slipping and just, like, finally catching up. Being like, hey, they're adding our shit. Like, having our name in their stuff. Who, like... What, were they just oblivious <laughs> living under a fucking rock not aware of this? Like... <laughs> they have the worst lawyers of all time. <laughs> Their lawyers are from the Old West, bro. They're just barely finding like out what the old internet ass is. Ass man. Yeah. Fuck. Like, hey, they're using our stuff in a video game. What's a video game? Oh, and it sold a shitload of copies. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking phone, Earl. I'm gonna find out how much these cocksuckers are worth. <laughs> he falls over sideways. Look at Earl. Oh, fucking. <laughs> Some pigeon flies through the fucking window with a letter tied to its <laughs> We got a response. We're the Pinkerton Detective Agency Lawyers. <laughs> Dude, that guy tells his friends that and they're like, what? Like, from the Old West? <laughs> yeah. They're still around? <laughs> what the fuck? Do they still use the Pony <clears throat> Express? <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of Sue Happy Motherfuckers, Bethesda won their case against the... I guess they didn't win. It was settled, though, so... Take that as you will. The Westworld fuckers that just cloned fucking Fallout Shelter. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. why not? Let's clone mediocrity for <laughs> more mediocrity to make a fuck ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Why not do anything new? We'll just redo what Bethesda did. Because Bethesda is the company to be following and taking cues right now. <laughs> that's, that's the company you want to be ripping off if you want to make the money. <laughs> Oh fucking Bethesda he got cloned <laughs> you see what oh I'm saying God. dude some dude. fucking 
That fucking, that is new, fucking oh my god. Oh my god. That new Chris Ray gun <laughs> video when he's just like what kind of fucking fever dream clown car dream am I living in? Or fucking yeah. clown car god. fever dream am I living in? <laughs> That is what it feels That's like. That's what it feels like daily, man. I'm just like, what? What? Really? Like the fucking Pinkertons, huh? From the old West. <laughs> they're still, they're, they're still doing their thing. And like in this article, they're still called the, the fucking they're the Pinkerton, what? The con- detective Pinkerton agency. consultants. Is and that what so it is? they're like, yeah, let's look at it real quick. Uh, Pinkerton Consulting and Investigations. Like, are they a private detective? <laughs> yeah, what like, are these fuckers doing? P.I.? Like, what like, are we, we need to find this Ooh. out. These motherfuckers are running guns. That's <laughs> what these yeah. fuckers are doing. What are you guys doing? Can we, like, just ex- take two, Rockstar, take these fuckers all the way and counter-sue them and let's find out what these shady motherfuckers have been up to because i don't trust them god damn it i think i'm right not to that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> something tells me the pingertons are a bunch of cack stuckers <laughs> it's not bad enough you gunned them down now you gotta sue their ancestors all these years later <laughs> you motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> They'll never take me alive, Chubbs, I swear to God. <laughs> they come for me. They coming for me and my rifle. <laughs> Die with that rifle in your hand. Die like a young gun. <laughs> like Bon Jovi. Serious. I'm wanted. It's like... <laughs> This is like somebody finding out. This is like an episode of South Park. Yeah, where like somebody somebody found out they were descendant of Billy the Kid, so they sued Emilio Estevez. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god! I can't laugh anymore. It's fucking killing me, dude. Oh my god! Exactly. (laughs) It is that clownish. It is that fucking clownish, bro. <laughs> because fuck historical accuracy. Fuck the fact that the name still survives. <laughs> Can't use it without <laughs> my permission. <laughs> I'm Billy the Kid. <laughs> I'm Billy the Kid 3 and you can't do this to me. <laughs> Emilio. <laughs> You're the shit in Mighty Ducks, though, man. (laughs) My dad's name was... What was his name in Mighty Ducks? Holy shit. There's a memory tester for you. Oh, shit. That's been a long time. That has been a long time. I can't. My dad's brother's name was Charlie, though, Emilio. (laughs) And you wasn't his make-believe, daddy. <laughs> so I want some money. <laughs> the Pinkerton lawyers are in my corner. Yep. Because they're working together now. Billy the Kid's ancestors and the Pinkerton's ancestors. It's like they came to a fucking understanding. Yeah. They've made They peace. go to that old Wild West convention yeah. where people, descendants of historical figures from the Wild West can gather and bullshit. Yeah. They, they went just and... drink coffee and like sit and talk. No, they went and <laughs> ate fucking peyote buttons with Chavez in the fucking mountains. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> came to grips with the peace that way. <laughs> oh my god! They conversed bro. with the burning bush. Yeah, dude. <laughs> the burning bush. <laughs> they fucking made out with the burning bush. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> those are our thoughts on everybody suing everybody. Everybody suing everybody. And the Why Pinkertons. The fuck hey guys, just if you didn't know, the Pinkertons are still around. Yeah, that's a cool story. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. That's real. That's crazy to think about for a little bit. And I say, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the Pinkertons. That's it for me, Jacks, Chubs, and we're the fuck out of here. <laughs>